بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو دا پلیٹ فارم آف نور سکول اینڈ کالج فار دا آن لائن کلاس آف فزکس ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سالو نمیریکل نمبر سکس اینڈ آن ورڈ ان دا پریویس لیکچر وی سالو نمیریکل نمبر ون ٹو تھری اپ ٹو فائیو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سالو دا نمیریکل نمبر سکس ان دس نمیریکل دا اسٹیٹمنٹ از گون اے فورتھ آف فائیو نیوٹن از اپلائڈ پر پینڈیکولر ٹو دا پلین آف اے یونیفارم ڈور وچ از ٹو میٹر ہائی اینڈ پوائنٹ سکس میٹر وائڈ فائنڈ دا ٹارک اباؤٹ دا لائن جوائننگ دا فرنجز ان دس نمیریکل اٹ از سیٹ دیٹ یو ہیو اے ڈور دا ویٹ آف دا ڈور از پوائنٹ سکس میٹر اینڈ وی آر اپلائنگ اے فورس آف فائیو نیوٹن perpendicular to this moment arm we have to find out torque okay look at the solution force is given 5 newton width of the door which is moment arm it is 0.6 meters it is 0.6 meters the moment arm height of the door 2 meter we, we do not use this quantity The force is perpendicular to the plane. Therefore, the angle between force and moment arm is 90 degrees. We are going to find out torque. The torque is given by the formula torque is equal to R cross F. R is the moment arm which is 0.6 meter and F is the force which is 5 newton. Writing this cross product in terms of sign and cause in trigonometric ratios we know that cross product is represented by the sine theta so torque is equal to r f sine theta the value of r is 0.6 the value of f is 5 and sine of 90 degrees we know that the angle between force and moment arm is 90 degrees when we are solving these quantities we get the answer 3 newton meter this 3 newton meter is the value of torque that how much torque is produced in the door as the rotation from moment arm r to the force is anti clockwise so this is anti clockwise torque okay now question number 7 find the magnitude of the forces provided by the supports a and b is shown uh, if shown a balanced condition weight of the plank is 500 newton and it is uniform in shape to understand the question you have to understand this figure it's a plank this one is the plank here it is point a it is point b at point a and b wedges are placed these two are the supports on which the plank is rested and it is said that this plank is uniform that is why its center of gravity will act midway of this plank so the weight of the plank is acting through this point and this point is the center of gravity of the plank on this side a person is standing on the plank a person whose weight is w1 it is standing on this plank at point d the distance between this end to the person is 1 meter okay the distance between support a and support b it is 3 meter an object is placed at point g whose distance is 0.5 meter from support a now we know that when we place an object on the supports the weight of that object is acting downward while the reaction force or normal force will act upward there are two forces which are acting upward force at point a it is upward reaction force force at point b it is upward upward forces are 2 but downward forces are 3 first force is the weight of the plank weight is downward weight of the block which is placed here it is downward and weight of the boy which is standing on the plank 
सो थ्री फोर्सेज आर एक्टिंग डाउनवर्ड एंड टू फोर्सेज आर एक्टिंग अपवर्ड द मोमेंट आर्म फॉर ऑल दीज फाइव फोर्सेज इज गिवन सो वी कैन यूज द कंडीशन ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम टू फाइंड आउट वट इज रिक्वायर्ड ओके वेट ऑफ द ब्लॉक इज हंड्रेड न्यूटन दिस ब्लॉक विच इज प्लेस्ड एट पॉइंट जी द वेट ऑफ दिस ब्लॉक इज हंड्रेड न्यूटन वेट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट दिस स्टूडेंट विच इज एट पॉइंट डी द वेट ऑफ दिस स्टूडेंट इज फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द फोर्सेज रिएक्शन फोर्स एट पॉइंट ए एंड रिएक्शन फोर्स एट पॉइंट बी वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दीज टू वैल्यूज एफ वन ड्यू टू ए वन एंड एफ टू ड्यू टू बी ओके नाउ सोल्यूशन लुक एट द डेटा वेट ऑफ द प्लैंक इज डब्ल्यू दिस वन एट पॉइंट सी इट इज फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन वेट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट एट पॉइंट डी इट इज फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन लेट अस कॉल इट डब्ल्यू वन एंड वेट ऑफ द ब्लॉक डब्ल्यू टू द ब्लॉक विच इज प्लेस्ड एट दिस पॉइंट जी द वेट ऑफ द ब्लॉक इज हंड्रेड न्यूटन फोर्स एट सपोर्ट ए एट दिस पॉइंट द अपवर्ड फोर्स इज आर वन एंड द फोर्स एट सपोर्ट बी द फोर्स अपवर्ड एट पॉइंट बी इट इज आर टू वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट आर वन एंड आर टू नाउ द मोमेंट आर्म्स आर गिवन डी सी इज इक्वल टू टू मीटर लुक हेयर दिस इज पॉइंट डी दिस इज पॉइंट सी डी सी इज टू मीटर इट इज गिवन सिमिलरली ई सी इज वन पॉइंट फाइव दिस इज ई दिस इज सी इट इज वन पॉइंट फाइव सी जी इज वन मीटर दिस इज सी दिस इज जी दिस इज वन मीटर डिस्टेंस Similarly, you can see that G H this distance is point five meter. The distance between C and B it is one point five meter. The distance between D and C it is one point five from here to here and here it is two meter. It is one meter. The distance between two supports A and B it is three meter. All the distances are given. now we can use the equation of con sorry uh, equation of condition of equilibrium the second condition of equilibrium along with the first condition we can find out the reaction forces okay this is 1.5 is the distance between c and h using first condition of equilibrium summation of all the forces should be zero but there is no force along x axis therefore all the forces are uh, either moving downward and onward, uh, upward uh, onward uh, these are the conditions in which the x component of total force will be zero because the forces are acting along y axis that is why summation of fx is equal to zero summation of fx sum of all the forces along x axis is zero r1 plus r2 minus w1 minus w minus w2 this was x and let us call this is y you can see that r1 r2 these are acting upward weight is downward this weight is downward this weight is downward two forces are upward three forces are downward so using this condition of equilibrium we can say r1 plus r2 minus w1 minus w minus w2 is equal to 0 now putting all the values of these three weights 500 500 100 r1 plus r2 we get r1 plus r2 minus 1100 is equal to 0 so r1 is equal to 1100 minus r2 because this r2 will go this side 1100 minus r2 let us call it equation number 1 now using the second condition of equilibrium the total torque on the system should be zero how many torques will be produced because there are five forces three weights and two reaction upward forces so five torques will be there torque of w let the point c be the point of rotation this point c the central point let the point c be the axis of rotation then torque of w about torque of w1 about point c is weight multiplied by its moment arm this is weight is the force dc is the moment arm so similarly torque of r1 about c 
is equal to minus R1 into EC we are using the sign of negative because this is the clockwise torque the weights are going to act downward and r is the normal force which is acting upward that is why due to the change in their direction r1 and r2 they are mentioned as negative and it is clockwise torque the this force w1 uh, is uh, producing anti clockwise torque and anti clockwise torque is positive and clockwise torque is negative torque of w about point c now you can see that torque of uh, w about c c multi w multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 because at point c there is no moment arm for point c the distance between c and c is 0 that is why the torque of w about c will be 0 similarly torque of w2 about c will be minus w2 multiplied by cg it is also clockwise that is why we will use negative negative term Similarly, torque of R2 about point C, this will be anti-clockwise, so it will get positive, R2 multiplied by CH. Now, all these are the torques. How many torques are there? 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The sum of all the 5 torques should be 0. This is W1 DC, first torque. This is second torque. This is third torque. This is fourth torque. And fifth is already 0. It is not written here. Now, W1 is 500, DC is 2 meter, this is R1, EC is 1.5 meter, W2 is 100, CG is 1 meter, R2 is not given, CH is 1.5 meter. When we put all the values, we can get the value of R1 and R2. If we solve this statement, we get 1000 minus 1.5 into R1 minus 100 plus 1.5 into R2 is equal to 0. Now, rearranging these terms, 900 minus 1.5 into R1 plus 1.5 into R2 is equal to 0. Putting equation 1, put the value of R1 from equation 1 in this equation. We get 900 minus 1.5. R1 is 1100 minus R2 plus this is 1.5 r2 is equal to 0 when we solve this uh, portion of the question we get the value of r2 we get r2 is equal to 750 divided by 3 we get 250 so r2 is 250 newton it is upward clear now putting the value of r2 in equation 1 we can get the value of r1 you can see that R1 is equal to 1100 minus 250. When we put the value of R1, we get, uh, we, when we put the value of R2, we get the value of R1. It is 850 Newton. This R1 is the force at point A and this R2 was the force at point B. Okay, question number 8. Three forces are acting on a body as shown. Find the magnitude of the magnitude of the resultant and also state in which plane the final uh, resultant lines. Three forces are given. 6 Newton along x-axis, 8 Newton along y-axis and 5 Newton along z-axis. We are going to find out the resultant, the magnitude of resultant. This is very simple. You can see that solution. Fx force along x axis is 6 newton, force along y axis is 8 newton, and Fz force along z axis is 5 newton. What is the resultant force? We can use the Pythagoras theorem for three dimensions. The magnitude of the resultant force is given by Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse is equal to base square plus perpendicular square plus third dimension. Fx square plus Fy square plus Fz square whole square root fx is 6, 6 ka square, fy is 8, 8 square, fz is 5, 5 square. If we solve these values, we finally get total resultant force 11.2 Newton. As the resultant force has three components, x, y and z, therefore it is lying in three dimensional coordinate axis, which means space and space has three dimensions, length, height and width
ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन ए मीटर रूल इज सपोर्टेड ऑन ए नाइफ एज प्लेस्ड एट फोर्टी सेंटीमीटर ग्रेजुएशन इट इज़ फाउंड दैट द मीटर रूल बैलेंस हॉरिजोंटली वेन अ मैथ विच वेट इज पॉइंट फोर फाइव न्यूटन इज सस्पेंडेड एट फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर फ्राम द ग्रेजुएशन एज शोन इन द फिगर इन दिस फिगर ए प्लैंक इज गिवन दिस पॉइंट सी इज द सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी ऑफ द प्लैंक इट्स वेट इज एक्टिंग डाउनवर्ड वन वन वेट इज गिवन एट पॉइंट ई द वेट ऑफ दिस ब्लॉक इज डब्ल्यू वन एंड द फलक्रम और द एक्सेस ऑफ रोटेशन विच इज द प्लैंक इज केप्ट ऑन दिस फलक्रम यू कैन सी दैट हेयर टू टॉर्क्स विल बी एक्टिंग दिस इज द एक्सेस ऑफ रोटेशन दिस वेट डब्ल्यू वन ten to rotate it anti clockwise but this the weight of the plank itself this will tend to rotate it clockwise clockwise and anti clockwise so two forces are there two torques will be produced so we can use the second condition of equilibrium to find out this weight of the plank this is the axis of rotation the moment arm is given you can see that the distance between e and C E and D. This will be uh, find found out, and uh, the distance between C and D. This moment arm. If we know these two values, we can find out the value of W. So we are going to find out part A. Calculate the moment. Moment means calculate the torque about the knife edge in this balanced condition. If the of the force due to the mass of the rule, due to this. Uh, point b if the weight of the rule is 0.9 newton calculate the position of its center of gravity okay solution now according to the given data we know that ae is equal to this is point a this is point e this distance is given 15 cm the distance between e and d is given 25 cm this distance is 15 cm this is 25 what is the total distance 15 plus 25 40 cm similarly the moment arm dc the distance between point d and c it is 10 cm now let the reaction force of a uh, knife edge by r so we have three factor three points moment of the force torque of w1 about uh, knife edge position of the center of gravity moment of the force torque of w1 about the knife edge look here one torque torque is given w1 multiplied by ed look here torque produced due to w is w multiplied by this moment arm cd this is w1 into cd or sorry uh, this is weight 1 weight 1 multiplied by ed for second case this w and cd clear w1 is 0.45 and ed is 25 cm solve it you will get the torque 0.1125 newton meter similarly position of the center of gravity of the meter rule ac we are going to find out the value of a and c Now, what is the value of ac using first condition of equilibrium sum of all the forces should be zero look here how many forces are acting downward and how many forces are acting upward look here the weight of this block is downward the weight of center of gravity downward two forces are acting downward and one reaction force is upward this is the case look r is upward minus w1 which is downward and this weight of the plank downward two forces are acting downward and one force is acting upward so upward minus 2 downward is equal to 0 r is equal to r minus weight 1 is given 0.45 and the weight of the block is 0.9 calculate the value of r from this equation we get r is equal to 1.35 newton now using second condition of equilibrium total torque should be 0 let let a be the point of rotation this point a let a be the point of rotation so how many forces are acting three forces weight one 
weight two and reaction. These two weights are producing clockwise torque, but this R will produce anti-clockwise torque if we consider A to be the point of or the axis of rotation. Now, using second condition uh, of equilibrium, let A be the point of rotation. Torque of W about A is this one, W1 uh, into AE. Torque of R uh, about A, R into AD, torque of W about A, uh, minus W into AC. When we put all the values, the total torque, this is torque 1, this is torque 2, this is torque number 3. One torque is anti-clockwise and two are clockwise. So clockwise torque is negative, anti-clockwise is positive. When we put the values, we can find out the value of AC. Is say AC ki value nikale. AC will be 0 0.475 divided by 0 0.9 and we get 52.5. Dear students, uh, this was numerical number 9. So I hope you will try to write and try to understand these numericals. So please uh, do your work and make your notes. Thank you very much.